challenge with uh, Kenya is uh, most times students do not really have uh, the ability to select the courses they want to attend. When students are in university, uh, they study courses and uh, the challenge with uh, Kenya is uh, most times students do not really have uh, the ability to select the courses they want to attend because either the numbers that can be uh, admitted at the university is much fewer and so therefore you find people you want to be an engineer and you can't study engineering because the class is full and there's no other university that you can study so you opt to to study another another program so you find many graduates coming out with the degrees or with courses that was not their first priority uh, and uh, when they come to the job market they find themselves with some particular knowledge but without the passion to to do that job because that's not the kind of job they, they truly wanted and possibly that has contributed to the challenge that industries have had in terms of hiring university graduates who do not really uh, fit the job market because you must match your motives and what you love doing with what you study. Once you, you study what you love doing, then you will end up being a, a good employee. But now when people are applying for, for jobs, uh, you are aware the market is really full, so many graduates looking for jobs, few positions, and everybody's applying. And uh, most entry jobs, you find a huge turnout in terms of the applications. And when uh, HR are looking at um, shortlisting process, basic things that they look at, how have you structured your, your resume? How have you structured your letter, the cover, the letter of application? Uh, does it have typos, errors? Is it formatted properly? Is it addressed to the right organization? Is it, uh, is it um, targeting the right job? You know, sometimes you apply for a job, but the job you have written on the application is different because maybe you are writing so many applications and you got it mixed up. And um, so, so that's like the first thing. You must be able to have your CV and your job application properly done. And uh, to make sure that it's properly done, it must be relevant to the job that you are applying and to the organization that you are applying. You could have, uh, because you are a fresh, uh, fresher, you can work in any industry. And sometimes you find two jobs you are applying and um, you make a standard application letter. That's the first mistake. You must be able to, to see which job am I applying in which organization in what type of industry and you structure your letter uh, in that format and a cover letter doesn't have to be very long just a very short three paragraphs two paragraphs we don't go into the details of what is in your cv in the letter uh, and then just one page then your cv has to be also be short uh, because uh, because of the large number of paper uh, sometimes you can miss an opportunity just because People don't have the time to really read everything that you have. You have put too much details. So you should have a page or two pages maximum. Uh, maybe one and a half. Because um, the, I think the trend is if you have a very long experience, 10 years, 15 years, you need to have a four page CV. So if you are fresher and you have four pages, then it means you have too much details that you have put there. And sometimes what people put in the CV is, uh, is critical. Sometimes you put in the CV the duties that you have done previously instead of putting what achievements you have. What achievements have you uh, realized? Uh, and it could be during your studies. It could be during um, assignments that you have had in, in college. It could be during internship that you have had before. And you need to indicate the achievements that you have, uh, you have had during those internships. You say, I was in this organization, and I was attached to this section, my achievements were, you know, and you say, you know, could be even structuring a filing system, could be introducing an idea which was uh, taken up by the organization. And it's those small things uh, is what tells an employer that you are the right employee because you are organized, you can plan, uh, you, you, 
you are focused and you know what you want uh, when you take up unemployment.